This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. This is the show where you could ask me any question you've got from the world of technology. Confused about what might be coming out next? Don't know what tablet or phone to get? This is the place you can ask. This week on Ask the Buffalo, we're going to talk about the Galaxy Note 2. We're going to talk a little bit about BlackBerry 10, the Nexus 7, and some tech in between. Let's go ahead and get started. So all the talk the past couple weeks in the tablet world has been about the Nexus 7. Kind of going under the radar though was its stablemate, the Nexus Q, Google's cloud media streaming black bowling ball looking thing. And that's something that our next user wants to ask. Nathan Yell 10 asks, I placed an order for the Nexus 7. I thought about getting the Nexus Q. Do you think it's worth the money? So the short answer is no. It's absolutely not worth $299. While it does do exactly as advertised and does it kind of well. That price point, you're better off getting a Roku HD box, an Apple TV, or any other myriad of devices. There are so many other opportunities out there for get streaming on uh, than spending 300 bucks for the Nexus Q. I love that it's made in the US. I love the way it looks. I love the LED lights. The industrial design is awesome, but for 300 bucks, it's a really, really hard device to recommend. We cover a lot of phones on Techno Buffalo, and oftentimes I show you the phone that I'm carrying with me. Previously, it was an iPhone 4S, and now it is a Galaxy Nexus, and the next user wants to ask me a personal question about my choice of phones. So Rubly44 asks, hey, John, in all your videos, none of the devices have a screen protector on them. Do you use them, or just not in the videos, or do you not use them at all? So I like my phone the way I sleep, totally naked. Uh, I didn't use a case on the iPhone 4S, the Galaxy Note, the HTC Titan, or any phone that I've used prior. I prefer to go on natural. I've been pretty lucky. I haven't dropped anything yet and shattered it. I just like the way a phone feels. I think the engineers put a lot of time into industrial build of these phones. I like the way they actually feel in the hand. Uh, the one exception, though, on the iPhone 4, I did use a bumper case because the whole hold it like this thing and your call drops. But for the most part, I generally keep my phone totally, totally nude the way the engineers intended. I know I'm just waiting to drop my phone and be like, curses, I should have bought a case. Um, but I have not yet um, done that. Well, I'm probably going to drop it right now. Be like, curses. David Halevi asks, hey, John, I want to buy a Samsung Galaxy Note. But I don't know if the Note 2 rumors are really true. Should I wait for the Note 2 or did I buy the Note 1 now? First of all, I'm realizing that saying Note 2 over and over again is a super tongue twister. Uh, but the Note 2, I believe, is definitely coming. And we're very close to IFA 2012, where I think we're going to see its debut. So absolutely wait. Uh, it's the end of August, early September when the IFA trade show is. Don't know what it is. It's sort of like CES for Europe. It's a huge gathering of the electronic world. Uh, takes place in Berlin each year. I expect we're going to see a similar size, but a bigger screen. Certainly, we're going to see a quad-core Exynos processor. And that may actually be the first phone that's got quad-core support for LTE. I think we'll see ice cream sandwich on board with hopefully planes for Jelly Bean. Only a few months away, so I don't think Jelly Bean's going to be ready in time to get all touch whizzed up for the ball. Um, we'll see a better camera. I think we'll see some wireless charging. Uh, and we'll see some elementary uh, upgrades. Nothing giant. Certainly something that's worth waiting uh, the extra couple months to see if it comes out. And if it does come out and you don't like it, you still want to get the Note 1, be able to get it for a discounted price. But whatever you decide, I do think the Galaxy Note is an awesome phone. And speaking of things that are awesome, I want to take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price. If you like alternative brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hate doling out tons of cash for them, Jack Threads is going to be for you. You can now score these premium brands up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands that will melt your brain. There's a wait list to join, but if you head to jackthreads.com slash techno, you can get instant access to all the killer hookups. Go now! So from things that are awesome to things that maybe aren't so awesome, let's talk about BlackBerry and their future. That's what the next user wants to ask about. Kyle Ken Burton asks, you think BlackBerry 10 will save the company even though it's one of the most popular phone brands in the UK? Part of me really wants to say yes. I'm rooting for RIM as an underdog, but as a practical businessman, I think RIM has about that big a chance in a that big a world to actually make it work. Delay after delay after delay has really tied RIM's hands. I think BlackBerry 10 is going to be a very solid operating system. I think it's going to be well received and I think it's going to be welcomed by the press. However, much like WebOS, which had sort of similar reviews, I may suffer the same fate. It's already been very saturated in the mobile operating system world. We've got iOS, we've got Android, 
Windows Phone and Windows Phone 8 coming out, is there room for another modern operating system? Time's only gonna tell. This really is RIM's last stand though. This is their Alamo. This is their time to dig their feet in and put everything they have uh, with BlackBerry 10. Do I think it's gonna work? Probably not. Uh, I've gone on record as saying I don't think RIM as they exist right now will exist in the same way 12 months from now. Perhaps they'll be acquired, maybe they'll be running a different operating system, or perhaps they'll be scrapped and sold for parts. But I think that their time has come and gone. Much as I hate to say it, uh, I think that we're going to see the end of RIM. I think BlackBerry 10 will be the last major operating system release we ever see from the folks at Research in Motion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check back here every Monday for a new episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest tech news. I'll see you guys in the next video. So I like my phone, like the way I sleep, totally naked. Uh, I <laughs> this is Ask the Buffalo, time to ask the Buffalo. I'm a Buffalo, so ask me questions. Ciao.